Hey, how's it going, guys? Dr. Alvarez uh, here with you. Thank you so much for uh, uh, tuning in to this uh, video. And today I have a, a very special guest that she is uh, back at uh, Endo Hospital here with us. And um, uh, Debbie, uh, you want to tell us uh, where you're from and why you're here again? Mm -hmm, sure. Uh -huh. I'm from Central Florida, uh, Winter Haven, Florida, to be exact. And uh, I'm here again because I brought a couple of my family members. Um, they saw the success that I was having and heard all the positive things that I had to say about Dr. Alvarez and this entire place. And um, so I brought them back with me and they just had the surgery today. There you go. Well, I'm really mm -hmm. happy you're here with us. And um, thank you for, for the trust, first of all. Uh, the first round when you came along because mm -hmm. maybe uh, they were maybe a little more skeptical, you know, yes. like, well, you want to do this, go ahead, maybe. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, I came because a longtime family friend who's 20 some years younger than I am, um, she had had it done. I didn't, I didn't really get to see the results yet. She just had so many positive things to say. When we first heard, She's going to Mexico. I mean, she's having the surgery, and she's <laughs> going to Mexico to have it done. Flipping out. Yeah, we uh. were like, why? Uh -huh. And then um, she came for a long time visit, and I got to see her and see all the beginning stages of what you are allowed and what you are not allowed to eat. Mm -hmm. And um, but had an opportunity to talk to her in in some detail about you, about the facility. Uh, my husband sat down with her husband and said. Is it safe, et cetera, et cetera? And less than two months after that conversation, I was here scheduled that, to have it done. That so, got you going. Yes. Yeah, so yes. I've watched her now. She's lost over 100 pounds. And um, I've now almost lost 90. 90 uh, but, pounds. But it's been 16 months. So I will say it was slower than what I was thinking. Expecting. I know, expecting. I know you're not supposed to, everyone's different. Yes. I even had a three-month stall, because I want to say that, because um, that was kind of scary. Not scary. It was like, oh, is it really, am I done? Is that it? Yeah. But I had a three-month stall um, at about six months. Mm -hmm. And um, don't really know why. I am a diabetic. So um, I know that probably w hindered my weight loss or made it go a little bit slower. Um, but, you know, eventually things, you know, kept going and, and I'm not done. Uh, I, I need to lose another 10 or 15 pounds, which sounds really funny to me because I have been over 200 pounds for 44 years. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Debbie. And I'm under 200 pounds now. So that was like, wow, you know, it's... Milestone. But, yeah, Definitely. Big, big Definitely. milestone. I feel better. I exercise morning and night. I do strength training. I never did that stuff before. <laughs> so, so now your yeah. your quality of life has has evolved. Sure has. It sure has. Sleep yeah. better. Yep. Yeah. 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 My leg cramps are gone. I have lots of. I'm off my insulin. Uh, off my blood pressure medicine. Yeah. Everything. So you're off quite a bit of medication already. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. My doctor's happy, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, it is important patients know that, uh, yes, um, the weight loss either uh, by any means, I mean, weight loss surgery or any other uh, method, um, yes, will vary from patient to patient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, underlying medical conditions, of course, like mm -hmm. diabetes ha uh, or specifically insulin resistance. Uh, right. Well, that, that comes in pl into play. Uh, menopause comes into play. Age comes into play. Um, gender comes into play. I mean, uh, men mm -hmm. lose it more, uh, well, way quicker. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll see Mr. Dennis. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he's got, he, he, he's got himself going already. He does, uh, yes. He, he lost 20-some on, on just his pre-op diet. Pre-op diet, yes. And, and uh -huh. he had surgery today. He's up mm -hmm. and going and walking yeah. the hallways he already. Sure is. He is. And uh, so, yeah, men men do, uh, uh, with a weight loss, to do faster, I want to say faster. They because mm -hmm. uh, we have a little bit more muscle mass than women and then muscle mass. 
uh, will ha uh, create more uh, uh, mm -hmm. faster metabolism. Yeah, sure. So uh, um, mm -hmm. tell me when you came back um, uh, from Mexico and then your family members starting to, I mean, you're probably like uh, under a microscope, huh? Well, I didn't tell a lot of people. Uh -huh, I kept it quiet. Yeah, uh -huh. and I hear lots of people say that. Uh -huh. yes, I, yes. Think, I think because um, uh, there are still many people out there that think the sleeve or any bariatric surgery is just the quick fix. It's, the easy way out. Oh, the easy way out. Yes. And I'm here to say it wasn't <laughs> easy. It, I will say this, though. Because of the sleeve and because I had the confidence in you and see all the other videos, etc., about all the other successes, um, it made me feel like... Even when I was, even when it was slow, even when I had that three-month um, stall, yeah. it still, um, I still had a whole different perspect perspective than when I tried all the other diets that I had tried before, because I knew that I couldn't eat like I used to, um, and so. I just had that a little better assurance that my stomach is still that size and it's not really going to stretch back to its normal size. I know I can put on weight again and I know, you know, I, I don't think I'll ever go back to where I was. I don't know that that's even possible. I know grazing is an issue. It's an issue for me. I eat very little at mealtime, but then I still do get hungry later, you three, know. Three to four so, hours after. Mm -hmm. So I have to watch it. I have mm -hmm. to be careful. As long as you graze the right things, you're good, you know. But yeah. the other thing that I really feel like it did for me was um, uh, it kind of gives me the freedom to have some of my favorite foods again because I can only yes. eat this much. So I can maybe one slice of pizza, that's it, you know, um, or one little type. I'm saying for, you know, for the for the carb laden foods that yes. if we could all just stay away from them forever, it'd be great. Yes. You know? But then you have a cheat meal every yeah. once in a while. And right. Right. Well, yeah. It's only that much. Right. And yeah. I tell patients, I actually told a patient uh, I had a, uh, a Zoom uh, consultation with her today. And uh, she was she was worried about that. Her, she was worried about her quality of life after the sleeve. And I was explaining to her that our idea with the surgery is for her exactly as you mentioned, is for her to enjoy life because life has to be better after the sleeve. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. right. Otherwise, the procedure wouldn't be there. Right. The procedure is here to extend your lifespan and increase your quality of life, as you mentioned. Right. Right. And for me, it's a win if you uh, get to enjoy life or if you like to um, go over to a friend's house and they offer you something, you don't have to mention the sleeve. Right, right. You see the menu and you're right. able to eat mm -hmm. smaller, right. way smaller portions. Right, right. But mm -hmm. you enjoy it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or if it's your birthday, you like to, mm -hmm. you're going to your favorite restaurant. Right. Sure. Well, it's not a procedure that you you can't eat this, 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 or this, or this thing. You're, right. This is off the label. This, you're, you're prohibited. You can't eat. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah. It, it, that's what I call quality of life with right. a sleeve because you're able to enjoy it, yes, at a fraction. Right. At a fraction. Yeah. And you enjoy life and you keep going. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's been great. I do want to say that... Um, I, I watched you one time, um, somebody asked you or you just gave the answer to this question of why you got into this and I was really impressed in, in that you said that this, that this particular type of surgery is offering people such long-term effects. Yes. You could go in and take someone's gallbladder out or do this and that gives that that area of their life a quick fix or a fix but this is such correct. so long term correct and, yeah when i when i uh, when i did general surgery and um, i went to med school because because of my dad mm -hmm. and uh, he being a doctor he being a surgeon 
and, and then I went into surgery uh, and I did general surgery and yes I, I really enjoyed you know mm -hmm. removing the gallbladder uh, going into an appendectomy removing the 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 infected appendix mm -hmm. you know and just but but it correct it ended there mm -hmm. uh, fixing a hernia well yeah it ends there and if you ask uh, and I do it regularly uh, do you know who took your gallbladder out or who who was your surgeon who removed your appendix they're like um, right um, mm -hmm. I don't know I remember it doesn't have that much impact right 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 and with weight loss surgery. Debbie, it starts that day. Yeah. Well, it actually starts before when the pre-op diet right. and everything, you start right. getting ready. Right. Everything start. you start lining up those ducks. Mm -hmm. You go get your procedure and then the procedure changes you physically, yes, mentally, mm -hmm. all around. Right. right. Even your surroundings, mm -hmm. even your, your loved ones, you know. Right. Yeah. So, so it is a, a procedure that has so much impact on your life and around you as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. that uh, that got me going. And, of course, um, I would see um, my, my family struggle with, with, with uh, being overweight and with the weight issue and my mm -hmm. mom, my aunt, cousins. Right. And at the end of the, uh, of the line, I deviated to to focusing on on bariatrics and mm -hmm. and, and I love it I love it that's mm -hmm. my passion you know mm -hmm. that's why we talked about I live mm -hmm. here I'm I'm here all right. day I, I could be here right. all day right and 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 I love it yeah. so um so I'm really really happy you look fantastic thank Debbie. you I feel great too yeah I mean yeah. you you look like a million it's, bucks it it's uh, nice to you know not always have to walk in and go to the plus size section because that's where I've been for. Many years. A very long time. I was I wasn't overweight as a child, but I remember when I was um, around twelve. We took a plane ride with my family, and um, you paid a penny per pound, and so I was 120 pounds. And then 13, I was 130. Not that I took the plane ride, but every ten every year I gained 10 pounds. And so I, whenever I tell the story, I say, and now I'm 66, so you do the math. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, of course, I did, you know, not track like that. for right. But then, you know, got married, started having kids, and with every child, you know, g gained a net 10, 15, 20 pounds, never really lost it. And then a couple more years, have another child. So I've been just... And life happens. Yeah, that's yes. right. That's right. But anyway, so, I mean, you took care of it, and, yes. um, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, you have your powerful tool that you've worked with it fantastic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. now it's your husband's turn and That's I'm right. really happy for him right um, I am too he I, keeps thinking you know he's like I, I just you know and I said Dennis you're not going to be hungry for all of that yeah. he said I don't know I think I'm going to be able to eat my way through it one time he said that I said, mm -mm, you won't be able to do it <laughs> and today this morning I um, I talked to him before surgery, and uh, I I mentioned it to him. I, I actually told you as well mm -hmm. once I came out and told you we were all done with the surgery. That I was really happy for. Him. Mm -hmm. uh, out of today's cases, I mean, I, I get happy for every patient, but right. out of today's cases, his scenario, the procedure is is going to save his life. So yeah. I am sure of it, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the quality of life that he has ahead. I, I think he can't even imagine, but right. he'll be thrilled. Yeah. He'll be thrilled. So, yeah. um, Debbie, I, I want to thank you for uh, sitting here with me mm -hmm. sure. and uh, yeah. talking your experience of coming to, to Mexico and mm -hmm. having everybody yeah. flip over. And yeah. uh, <laughs> I know. But then sooner or later, they're coming down. I know. And, yeah. uh, Every, everybody's kind of seeing the light. Yes. And um, yeah, I mean, your, your facility here is beautiful. The grounds, the landscaping, everything. Staff, professional. Um, I can't say enough good things about Thank this you. place and you. You are very kind and caring and professional also, and um, you know your stuff. Thank so, you very much. Well, yeah. I appreciate your trust and mm -hmm. coming again down with, uh, yeah. with family members. It's fun to come this way. Yes, and uh, I mm -hmm. want to thank you on behalf of the audience because uh, we're well, mm -hmm. stepping it forward. You know, yeah. I want to mm -hmm. do this and right. tell my, ex my, my, my 
testimonial, my experience of why I came down here, how much right. I've lost and how much time, how's mm -hmm. the quality of life and that that then that you're here again. Yeah. So thank you so much and um, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the trust. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, well, Debbie, thank you for sitting here with us. And uh, guys, uh, if you can leave a comment down below, don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. And uh, uh, you should really be thanking Debbie on those comments down below. <laughs> thank you again, Debbie. Thank you. It's been great.